What is going on to happy Saturday to everyone. So I'm going to make a quick video for you guys because I'm about to um, change for work in a little bit. I'm doing a uh, triple turn tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. It'll be my first time running a triple turn. So I know a lot of you guys, you know, like watching me and the other uh, LTL YouTubers. And I know between me and the other guys, we've... Um, Made a lot of y'all interested in doing LTL, but the reality is LTL is not going to be for all of you guys, you know? Some of y'all, you know, might like it. Some of y'all might not. Now, I was talking to a buddy of mine earlier. You know, he's a uh, he's a truck driver as well. He wants to do um, LTL, but here's the problem. By the way, he has all his endorsements, but here's the problem. He tells me... He's afraid to pull doubles. He doesn't feel comfortable. He wouldn't feel comfortable pulling doubles. And he wouldn't feel comfortable pulling hazmat. That's going to be a problem. Now, as far as the doubles, you know, I can understand everybody may not feel comfortable pulling wheel wagons. Um, so I told him, hey, why don't you try uh, PND? Because PND, you know, you're a city driver, so you won't have to really pull doubles. Well, you won't pull doubles. He tells me, nah, I'm not really trying to work in the city. I'm not trying to, you know, be unloading a trailer. So I told him, I mean, your only other option is, you know, line haul. Now, he also mentioned that he's afraid of hazmat. Now, that's going to be a problem because any LTL company that you go to, you're going to pull some hazmat at some point, you know. For me, out of the five nights I work, I pull hazmat probably every night, if not four out of the five nights, you know. Now, when I talk about hazmat, guys, I'm not talking about the little baby non-flammable. When you do LTL, you're going to pull it all. You know, you might have explosives. You might have corrosives. You might have flammables, uh, dangerous or wet. I'm going to put a picture at the end of the video that shows all the different um, placards, you know, that you will pull um, in LTL. Now, it's no escape in that because whether you do P&D or line haul, you're going to pull some hazmat because, as you guys know, the freight from P&D, you know, gets loaded for line haul at night. So they both go hand in hand. So there's no dodging it. Now, as far as the um, the doubles, I get it, you know. It might seem intimidating, but guys, I promise you, pulling doubles, it's easy. Now, I've been pulling doubles for about seven months now, I want to say. It's really not that bad. Um, as far as... Um, Going back to the doubles, if you don't want to pull doubles, there are two LTL companies that I know of that don't pull doubles. Um, you could try Averick. From what I know, they only pull 53s. And there's another LTL company that I used to see when I was OTR. Um, I know they run I-80 a lot. It's uh, Ohio Pit. No, Pit, Ohio. They're another uh, LTL company, so you could try them, you know, if you live up in that area. But um, as far as the hazmat, guys, if you aren't comfortable pulling hazmat, then LTO is just not going to work for you, you know, because you're going to pull it, you know, is no dodging it, you know. Now, I'm not telling you guys that you're going to have, you know, a full trailer full of hazmat because it really doesn't happen that often. Um, you might have, you know, 10 pounds of hazmat. You might have 10,000 plus pounds of hazmat. So, you know, it just depends now. Just because you don't see a placard, doesn't, don't assume that there's no hazmat. Because the rule with hazmat is anything over 1,001 pounds is required to be placard. So if it's 1,000 pounds, you don't need a placard. So as far as like placarding, you know, you could have two placards. I done seen trailers up to like 15. I think that was a Tri-State. They're not an LTL company, but they pull a lot of hazmat as well. But um, go on your own. I'll be there in a minute. But as far as, um, you know, the placarding, um, it's really not that bad. Um, but yeah, if you're not comfortable pulling doubles, if you're not pull comfortable pulling, you know, hazmat, it's just not going to work. Now, as far as the tankers, I know a lot of y'all still ask me, why do you need a tankers endorsement even though you don't pull tankers? The reason being is we have um, liquid totes that we will sometimes, you know, haul. You know, um, they might be used, you know, as at car washes or just wherever. They're just big liquid totes and the surge and all that. So that's why, you know, we need our uh, tankers endorsement for that. So I hope this uh, helps anybody. 
And I hope this helps you too as well. Um, you know who you are. So I'm going to end this video, get ready for work. So as I always tell you guys, thank you to all my day one subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Appreciate all you guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs up anyway. And as I always tell y'all, y'all take it easy. Stay safe.